Hope you guys enjoyed that hike to the Big Beehive in the Canadian Rockies at Banff National Park uh, back in June, the end of June of 2022. And as you can see, we had uh, pretty awesome weather, even though for 2022, Canada had a very late, late winter. So we had a good bit of snow at the higher elevations starting off at about uh, 5,700 feet above sea level at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. Uh, myself, my younger brother, and uh, two of our cousins, um, city slickers. Uh, we did the three mile hike uh, with about 1,500 feet elevation gain to the famous uh, Lake Agnes Tea House. There was a quick pit stop at Mirror Lake where you see the best view, at least at the um, base level of the big beehive. And it really does look like a beehive before we continued on to uh, Lake Agnes and the tea house, which um, it's a very touristy spot for tea and biscuits but it was super crowded so we had already planned on bringing our lunch and so we just parked ourselves in front of uh, Lake Agnes and just had lunch before we continued on. On a previous trip my younger brother had already done the hike to the little beehive which is in the opposite direction of the big beehive which is the one that I wanted to do. So we left uh, our two uh, cousins to continue on to the little beehive from Lake Agnes tea house while my younger brother who wasn't sure whether or not he was going to be able to hike up to the big beehive because it's a bigger hike he emptied his camera backpack with just one camera body and one camera lens and he and I trekked further up to the big beehive. He didn't even bring a tripod while I of course had mine. The additional 1.7.8 mile up to the big beehive uh, with about 550 feet elevation gain was one that we decided to do on the Lake Agnes side um, because a couple of days before our hike a few fellow hikers reported that if we were to do the loop that we should do the loop uh, counterclockwise going up on the western side of the big beehive and then descend down on the eastern side. Because of the amount of snow that was still up there, it was advised to go up the switchbacks, uh, which the snow actually covered a great deal of the switchbacks. Um, we actually went pretty straight up and bypassed the switchbacks because we couldn't even see them underneath the snow uh, versus going down uh, the switchbacks which would have been a greater risk of uh, sliding down the, uh, the slope there. As we made our way up the lake to start the ascent, uh, we started off with our trail uh, sneakers. Then when we started to get into the snow we put on our micro spikes and absolutely those gave us the extra grip and reassurance uh, in the snow there. It was uh, very nice to follow in the footsteps of the previous hikers and as you could see in some of the video there there was uh, quite a few post holding uh, that the previous hikers made that we were able to see and avoid. As we started our descent down, uh, we came to a junction where I was so, so very tempted to break off and do the Devil's Thumb, which is about another uh, 500 feet elevation gain to about 8,000 total and another half a mile. Uh, but my brother just didn't want me to risk uh, the snow that would have been much, much higher waist level if I were to miss a step somewhere. So yeah, we turned around and 
continued our descent through the Highline Trail. But let me tell you, I, I was really disappointed in the snow because from that vantage point, uh, the Devil's Thumb, you're able to see both the lake side of uh, Lake Agnes as well as Lake Louise and the view would have been just incredible. Oh well, next time. The hike down on the east side of the Beehive was just as beautiful as the, the hike up. Um, we were somewhat tempted to continue on the Highline Trail uh, to see further the Plain of Six Glaciers and there's actually another tea house there. Uh, but our two city slickers were probably waiting for us at the Fairmont and so we just uh, enjoyed the rest of it and continued down the shoreline of Lake Louise and you could just see it's a beautiful, beautiful hike. So yeah, that was the Big Beehive. Great, beautiful hike. Highly recommended if you're in the Lake Louise area. Uh, doesn't matter if you're doing the uh, loop clockwise or counterclockwise or even the in and out. Uh, just make sure that if you do do the clockwise that it is uh, pretty much snow free because that descent on the uh, eastern side is a, is a very treachery one. As always guys, thanks for all the like, share and subscribe. If you got any comments or questions, post them below and I will catch you guys out on the next trail.